morning, everybody. Gavin, John from here in Atlanta. Got another fun special one for you. So I'm here on two maintenance accounts, actually the one behind me we do and then the one we're standing on. So as you guys see in a previous video a while back, when it comes to mulch and stuff on big accounts, basically anything over, anything over like 10, 12 yards, it's more economical to have my guy come in and spray it and that's what we're doing right so he showed up crack it on i just got here for the last 15 minutes or so spraying weeds getting things sprayed what we needed done before we lay all the mulch but he's got his big truck if i remember correctly that's his 60 yard truck and again i've done a, a video like this probably a year or so ago uh, for some guys who have a lot of accounts people who do mulch if you can get in a relationship with somebody local or in your area that does this this saves a ton of work man and I mean a lot because if you're getting into a lot of yards that are you know 12 15 20 this one here is pushing close to probably 30 35 yards he does a townhome association for me he's done for years for like last five years for me which has been great but this year because i'm short staffed it's tough to find people man it really is so i asked him going back into late january hey i got to set up all these accounts that would normally mulch you know I, you're going to do the townhomes for me i know he does big jobs right he really doesn't like to do anything less than you know like 25 yards 20 25 yards there's no money in it for him which i totally get but the unique part about me and my business and i've said this before is how dense we are all right i do close to 100 yards in this area and i don't leave a five mile radius so with all these yards we got to do he doesn't have to go anywhere so he's he's even done yards that were six ten 12 but they were like four of them on three different streets that are like one two three you know what i mean so he did a bunch for me about two weeks ago once we finally had a break in the rain and uh there were a few ho hum and commitment customers on um, this being one of them and this being like 35 yards there's no way in heck i'm doing it um it's way too easy for him to do it so he's here today he's got his big truck and actually, there's another account, the next street over, he did two weeks ago, and he was short maybe three, four yards of mulch. So when he leaves here, he's going right over there to finish. So it works out for him, it works out for me, the customers are happy, it looks great. So um, again, let me show you around what he's doing, why it's a good idea for you guys to find somebody like this in your area. Wally, I know you're watching. Maybe you need to start one of these companies. You guys don't follow Beach River Landscapes. This dude lays, I swear to you, it must be 200 yards of mulch every winter. Red mulch, over like 10 acres. It's huge. And every year I'm like, I don't know why you're doing it, man. But I guess the guy in his area in Florida maybe ain't so good. The customer doesn't like it, I don't know. Which, it sucks because now you physically have to do it yourself. So, let me show you guys around what we're dealing with and go from there. All right, so again, he's got his 60 yard truck. All right, he's got all his hose back here on the back. He's got it all spread out here. He's just ripping it up in the backyard. Look at that. No, folks, there's not a fire in the backyard. Don't worry. The mulch, when it gets ground up, holds so much heat. I mean, it's 8.05 in the morning. You're just ripping it out. All right? It just got so much steam. But I got here and uh, started spraying weeds. I was trying to get here yesterday, but the pro show got tied up, rain. So these guys were killing it. They started here in the back on this side. All right? Check them out blowing. This is what they do. Look at 
you're in the Atlanta area, the name's Matt Tibbet, preferred malt. You'll find him online. He's good, he'll take care of you. Like I said, he's been doing this for me for, for five years. This is done. Got a guy back there touching up the free range, that type of thing. Let's go to the other side. So, we got a real nice rock garden they put in. Obviously, we're not touching that, but they just got stuff to do here on the front. Oh yeah, it looks like it's fire over there. <laughs> so, I'll take you guys in the back. And again, I've had this customer for about two years now. Um, I tried to get him to commit to malt last year. He needed it. Um, just couldn't, couldn't commit to it. This year, you could see it's in dire need. It's in dire need, it's breaking down, so. You can see the backyard, he's got a beautiful backyard. Again, great customer. He's been working on this, on his patio here. So obviously you can see the section they haven't done yet. They're still gonna finish. And this is the section they have done. Let's see if I can block the sun a little bit. There we go. Nice tree rings. Let's see if I can get over here out of the sun. Get a better look at it. There we go. All right, so they were blowing off all these tree rings. He just loves his backyard, kind of being all mulch. It's nice and clean, it's real nice. The sweet gums are two thirds of the way. I wish they would have been all the way, but it is what it is. But again, we still got this section just on this side of the patio back here, and from these gardenias back into the corner, right? There's this lower level down here. That's where all the water runs off to. We're not gonna bother down there. He just wants to stay, stay up here. So you can see it looks great. It really does look great. It makes a difference from the befores and afters. Right. It's a big backyard, guys. Big backyard. All mulch. And again, way too much work for me to do this. Way too much. You just couldn't dump the pile close enough. It's just not physically possible. So, again, if you guys have a chance to find a company like this, I would do it. So, yeah, you can find a company, that's the way to do it, especially for jobs like this. Unique situation for me, the way I built my company, I'm very dense in a very, very, very close area. So, I have the luxury to, you know, what his minimum would be to not have to worry about it. I ended up putting all my accounts together that we needed to do, gave him a list and just say, dude, I'm ready, slide it in your schedule. And we had a total of about eight different accounts, probably close to 100 and I wanna say it was probably between 150 and 160 yards of mulch. I take that back, it's a little high. Probably close to 130 to 140. But between like eight different accounts, it was a slam dunk because that work right there would have taken me and two other people, again, if I had them. I'm stressing if I had them because it's so hard to find people. So right now I'm rocking solo. I'm getting a ton done. You know, the weather's been killing me, but you know, it is what it is. Just chipping away, working long days, getting it done. But if I had people, 130 yards, you're talking probably a good three, four full days. You know, and some of the accounts are like this. You can't drop it close enough. I mean, you're gonna have to put it in a wheelbarrow and walk it 200, 250 feet just to dump it and it's not like we're talking a 10 foot wide section back there this is 200 wide 250 plus just to get to the back and then work your way out where the pile would be so i'm glad he's doing it for me it makes sense for me for him he gets business we continue this relationship it's nice so preferred balls here in atlanta Find somebody local with you guys if you could do it. It makes sense. But 
anyway i gotta get back to work we got a lot to do today yesterday was the pro show uh we got that new blower we're gonna check that thing out today got about 14 yards to do today again they're all close-knit which is kind of nice uh, weather should be good as you can see the sun's out hardly a cloud in the sky high of 70 prime today's gonna be a good day so we're gonna get started you guys enjoy your tuesday Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, like it, share it. Again, spray and mulch. It's a good gig, man. Till next time. Be good. I'm out.